I've spoken a lot on this channel about parking on the pavement and how it's not legal, it's not convenient, and it's frankly not fair for other people that need to use that pavement. So this story really takes the biscuit and makes for a very expensive end to the year for the owner of this vehicle. So welcome back to my channel, but if you are new to me, I'm a barrister who helps you understand law. So if I could ask you one small favour, I've been looking at my statistics just recently, and I've said this in a few of the last videos, 60% of you that watch this channel are not subscribed. Now I know some of you feel that it doesn't make any difference whether you subscribe or not, because you can still watch the channel, but it really does help for YouTube to promote this channel to a wider audience, so more people can watch it, so that helps me to help you, and more people can benefit from free legal guidance. So in this video, I'm talking about this Nissan vehicle that was parked like this on the pavement. Now, it doesn't really take a lawyer to tell you that this is bad parking, and it's just not acceptable to be parked on the pavement in this way. In fact, there are lots of different laws that prohibit parking on the pavement and driving over the pavement with the intention to park and various things, not to mention those laws that prohibit causing an obstruction to any other road user, which of course includes pedestrians and cyclists and anyone else, frankly, that's using the roads. And just as a brief interlude within my video, I'm very pleased to tell you that I am starting a podcast. It will be available on Spotify via anchor.fm. The link will be in the description below. I very much hope you'll go and listen to the episodes that I put out there, because many of you have told me that you like to listen to my content, but you can't watch the videos. And I don't want you to get accused of driving whilst having a YouTube video going on in the background, so instead of that I will be converting much of this content into audio only for my podcast, and there will be lots of dedicated podcast content going onto that link. So that will be in the description below. Please go to that link and add it and subscribe and add it to your favourites and all of that sort of stuff, and I very much look forward to talking to you on my podcast. Back to the video. Now the Highways Act of 1835, specifically section 72, makes it an offence to willfully ride over or drive on the footway, even though that driving might only last for a few seconds. The last part of that was decided in MacArthur and Jack in 1950. Also, Section 28 of the Town Police Clauses Act of 1847 also makes it an offence to cause obstruction, annoyance or a danger in the street. So these and various other bits of legislation and regulations make it an offence to be parked on the pavement in a manner such as shown in this photograph. So as a result of this, the local authority and the police have a duty to deal with such obstructions, and in this case the police did. They seized this vehicle and took it to a compound, whereupon the owner of the vehicle to retrieve it is going to have to pay the storage charges and is going to be faced with a fixed penalty notice and three points on their driving license. So many of you might be wondering what you will be able to do if you've got nuisance parking in and around your area, blocking your driveway, blocking the footpath in general, or indeed blocking parts of the road, because it's a common misunderstanding that just because you're parked on the street where there's no specific parking restrictions, that you can just park wherever and however and for however long you'd like. However, if your vehicle is causing an obstruction to other road users coming down the road, such as there are vehicles parked on either side and there's only a tiny amount of space in between those cars to get through, let's say that refuse collection vehicles cannot get through, maybe buses cannot get through, and other lorries which are allowed to drive down there cannot get through, then this does amount to an obstruction, and the vehicles causing that obstruction can be technically removed by the police because they are causing an obstruction. And causing an obstruction of the highway is also an offence, so you must be careful not to be causing that obstruction, even where there are areas that there are no specific parking restrictions in place. You still need to have due care and consideration to other road users where you're parking your vehicle. In response to previous videos, many of you have sent me photographs of vehicles parked on the pavement and causing an obstruction, in particular for disabled persons or blind persons where they have to venture out into the road to get around said vehicles, which is extremely dangerous. In some cases with an assistance dog as well. And in some of those cases, you guys have told me that the dog refuses to go into the road because the dog knows it's dangerous because that's what they're trying to do. So the person who requires an assistance dog is simply stuck and had to be guided by someone else around the vehicle, encouraging the person and the dog for that matter, that it was safe to go around this vehicle because the vehicle was blocking the pavement. So if you are in this position and you are having your area blocked by vehicles such as this, 
These are some things that you might do. The least aggressive approach would be to politely approach the neighbor and say, would you mind not parking here because it's causing an obstruction and offer up a reasonable explanation as to why you want them to move the vehicle. Sometimes they might be happy to move it, but if they refuse, and they often refuse, your next step is either to go straight to the police or to go to the local authority in the first instance. The local authority will then make contact on your behalf with the police or police community support officers who can pay a visit to the owner of the vehicle to ask them to please not park in that specific spot. In doing so, you are welcome to quote the law that I've given you in this video as guidance, not as formal legal advice, but as guidance. You can look it up yourself and confirm for yourself that it's correct, or you can instruct a lawyer to get formal legal advice to confirm that it's correct. There are reasons why this can't be formal legal advice, which I've explained in other videos, because I'm not sitting down with you speaking about your specific circumstances, but I can give you generally how the law applies, which laws apply, and you are welcome to use those, so long as you are comfortable looking at what they mean, or in the alternative, seeking formal legal advice. But if you present these laws to your local authority and say, please, can you remove the vehicle, or please, can you ask the police to remove the vehicle, or in the first instance, which will be preferable, to ask the owner of the vehicle not to park there, then they ought to do something about it. Now, we've acted for clients in this particular scenario where, at first blush, the local authority simply didn't respond. Even on the second email following up the first, the local authority did not respond. Only on the third one, when it was highlighted that they have a duty to respond and to deal with these matters, they did respond and they did make contact with the local police constabulary who sent out a police community support officer to speak to the owner of the vehicle to say that if they refuse or fail to move the vehicle and to stop causing an obstruction, then the vehicle would be removed to a compound and obviously they'd be fined and points on their license. So this is one way of resolving this issue because you don't necessarily want to confront your neighbor head on with this dispute about the parking, but the local authority and the local police should assist you to do so. But sometimes only if you're persistent in doing so will anything actually get done about it because so often, they are far too busy and they have far too many things to deal with. But in cases such as this, which the police constabulary put out on Twitter and I'm delivering to you in a video now, we collectively are raising awareness of this parking on the pavement difficulties, which in some areas is simply untenable for the local residents. So I hope that's been useful. As I said, please do subscribe to this channel if you find it useful. That really does help my channel grow to reach a wider audience because it is my mission to demystify the law and help you to understand law. Thank you for watching.